hello friends i hope you're doing well in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to make a logo in gimp although gimp is not a designing software however it is possible to make designs using this wonderful software especially if you can make logo or anything else from images since this is an image manipulation software so if you can produce anything from images and ready shapes then it's rather better i mean you can get a better result my name is mother si hussain and welcome to my channel living image if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing i publish weekly tutorials on photography editing and tech anyways without further ado let's get started first we create a new image to do that go to file and then new this is the default and standard dimension for um, images but we change the width and height into 800 by 800 to create a square image it is the standard size for logos now we are going to activate the horizontal and vertical guide to find the exact center of this image it helps to work more accurately to do that simply go to the image menu and then guides from the new guide by percent first we get a horizontal guide and then similarly we select the vertical guide okay now we create a shape using an ellipse selection tool if you don't see an ellipse tool here you can find it by going to tools menu and then selection tools and from there ellipse select you also can simply press e to activate the ellipse tool now we draw a circle and position it in the center We fill the circle with green color using the bucket fill tool. Now we reactivate the ellipse tool and slightly minimize the size of the shape. Let's have a close look. now go to the edit menu and then clear right we have got an outline circle at this point we are going to import a png image there are a lot of similar images and shapes available online you can find anything according to your preference we always can make something better and different by manipulating the shapes and images. Right now we deselect everything and move the image slightly on the left side using the move tool. We flip the image on the right side using the flip tool. Now we reposition the image again. Our intention is to bring the lips in the middle of the circle and match the other parts with the outline. Select the background layer and grab the erase brush tool and we are going to remove the areas over the tree. Please take enough time when you do this.
right now we are going to add some text here to do that activate the text tool and choose whatever font you want to use for this logo i am going with this font Now we position the text. Now we can add drop shadow to this text if we want to. To do that, go to filters menu and then light and shadows and then drop shadow. Here we can adjust the shadows offset, blur radius, grow shapes, grow radius, opacity and color according to our preferences. And then we also can change the color of the tree according to our preference. To do that, select the image and go to colors menu and then go to colors option. Here you can select the color according to your preference. Now we right click on the background layer to add alpha channel if we want a logo with transparent background and also make sure that you export the file in png format thanks for watching and i will see you next time goodbye